Hey guys, what is going on? This is LockNock1, and welcome back to part 20 of my Let's Play of Civilization Beyond Earth. We are playing as the African Union, and we are going for a purity victory. Last time, we continued to put pressure on Tiang Gong, one of our battle suits to sing a swan song, fighting several other less evolved battle suits. Less evolved, certainly. And we are putting pressure on Tiang Gong to begin to seize it. We now have two ranged units uh, in range of firing, and next turn we should have three. Um, that that doesn't seem like enough. We do have two more battle suits healing up, and I hope to probably build a Punisher out of Janali when it finishes this Soma Distillery, uh, which is, I believe, Purity's uh, siege tank. At any rate, one thing we're going to need is Tacnet hubs up, and we're getting those in one turn. Let's go ahead and do a site here. I'll we'll probably put Tacnet hubs covering our back units here, or pushing into Ninit 10. We can put them all around. Uh, at any rate here, we need to do a strike on this here ranged unit. And Unholy Thorns may die uh, no matter what on this next turn. So we'll probably just send him in on a suicide bonus. He, do, he is a veteran status. Or we can try to heal him up. Uh, they do heal a lot. And, you know, he might survive actually. We have these needle jets. And they are not in range to actually defend from possible uh, attack jet attacks. So he might go down. In all likelihood, he will. Um, but let's just send this guy there, and we could probably sell these to Juan Lei for a few turns, uh, and then try to remember to swap them out when Juan Lei gets too low on health. They'll be there for probably only one turn, I think about it, but oh well. Let's get these guys on air intercept, and this guy can just heal up. Academy done here. All good, all good. Um, what now? Now, one thing we could do is probably just convert this into an academy as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I kind of want my science to go up just a little bit more. Uh, I'm not happy with the rates we're at right now, and then we might. One thing we might want to consider is science focus until we get the requisite affinity levels that we want, because that's kind of just what's in our way between us and winning right now. And then what unit got selected here? A worker? Alright, just keep building this mag rail, buddy. You're gonna be alright. Alright, Tangong, show me your worst. Striking my ranged unit. What's this? Ooh, they have an LEV tank here. That's scary. Wait, they can keep the LEV tank and the artillery there? That's just not fair. What the heck is that? The tank, the Punisher, and the range strike? That is not fair. Well, we lost our uh, Punisher there. Sorry, our um, Guardian. We're supposed to be extra strong against ranged, but I guess not strong enough. You know, that's going to be troublesome, dealing with an LEV tank in addition to the Ranger. I'm sure they had to move one of them out. Yep, they had to move the Punisher out. You know, the LV tank is more to worry about than the Punisher, though. LV tanks are scary. Tian Gong now has 84 combat strength. One of the finest shadings of communication is the difference between... I so there's the tech, uh, net hub tech, and... Hold on. Of Mites and Men quest decision. This is Nano Pastures. Okay, so I like the food here, typically. Maybe we want the energy. Uh, I'm gonna go with food, actually. Food is nice, and all the cities will just grow a little bit faster. All right, Soma Distillery done in Janali. So now, what do we want here? Um, I'm thinking we might want to grab Punishers, just because I want to be actually be able to put pressure on Tiangong, among other cities. So that's going to be one of the only ways we can right now. Jeez. All right, so this guy took some damage, but our you know our battle suits here are pretty strong. Not too worried. Send them in. And certainly Ninit Tin is less defended than Tiangong. Our Unholy Thorn survived this debacle, so we can probably just have these guys heal up now. Um, he's probably fine then, where he is. He's going to be healing a lot each turn. Whereas we need this guy. Suicide Indians to advance a little bit. And maybe we just tell these guys to stay out of this kind of pressure until we get our affinity levels up. Um... 
we don't really risk a double strike anymore from that LEV and Punisher, which was kind of just an insane combo. So we can probably afford to do this. Just do another double strike on Tango. Probably do a strike here. Uh, you know what? Why not? Because if we're not doing strikes, they're just going to be targeting our range units anyways. And these guys heal so much when they want to. So we can probably just do solid damage to battlesuits and the like. As for this guy, I'm going to send him in actually in on Tiangong. And then send our strike out here. Unfortunately, that Punisher is not in range. I'd love to be able to take him out. And what else? That seems like all we can do at the moment. I might really want to start considering a switch over to military units in a bunch of our cities after we finish the distilleries. Sentinel, what to do with you? I'm going to have these guys just chill where they are right now. They're not quite strong enough to do anything. Um, we could probably give air cover just this turn. Air intercept, and then swap those guys out to a different city after they're done. Meanwhile, Juan Lei is going down, so let's go ahead and sell its last building. Same with Philo 2. What to sell? The network. Why not? And this work is done here. Just chill. Let's see how Tiangong responds. I'd hate to lose a battle suit, but it could happen. They do have the uh, city strike, the LEV tank, the battle suit, um, and that's just a lot of pressure to put on one unit. She's willing to give us a city in return for a peace deal of 10 turns. I'm not actually opposed to that. Um, we want to have more punishers and everything organized, and I'd say a strike is relatively unorganized at the moment. And that's going to give us a better opportunity to do a solid strike, and we won't actually have to lose our battle suit. So you know what? We're going to accept that. And it tends a great city. I will be happy with the floatstone and resources it gives me, and I'd love to see our new city. You've acquired in at 10. Show me. Show me the goodies. And having come for free, we didn't burn down all the buildings, so it's actually a very good city. It should be, at least. Alright, we're going to annex this bad boy. Just like that, we're actually healthy. And here we go. Veteran sees on these dudes. We could probably put pressure on Kuyan next. I really want to eliminate the PAC Empire and just take all of their stuff. Because they have been very bad people the whole game. So that is very good news for us, though. Okay. Quest decision. This is the orbital units. It doesn't really matter. It's just showing up because we acquired an tenant that happens to have that building, I'm sure. Um, we'll go ahead and try to do that guy. But that gives us a lot more floatstone. Suddenly we have another 10 floatstone there. Wow. And if we were to build over here, we'd get 7 more. So we could theoretically build LEV tanks if we want them. Which probably better than the Punisher for engaging cities like Tiangong. And the city here burned down. And... Oh, Juan Le is gone. So I think we lost the planes there. You know, sometimes you goof. And I just goofed. That's two planes. Two planes in the red. Oh well. Send this guy out to Nina 10. He'll definitely be useful there. And these guys can sort of just heal up. So form something of a front line we can with all of our guys here. Bring our range units back a little bit. They're not totally needed. And keep building these mag rails. You guys have been doing well. Unfortunately, these guys can't build mag rails anymore because they were forced out of the country uh, when we took that land. But for the rest of these guys, I kind of like their positioning. Let's get this battle suit healing. The rest should be pretty good. Alright, uh, he's good. You know, Galgren's a thing. I'm not, I don't really care. Did we lose any trade routes and all of that? Bongani is one of two. Xerxes one of two. Ninot Ten lost its. Alright, so we did lose a couple trade routes. So we might want to rebuild those. Have Bongani prioritize those. 
right after. It's one, and then maybe Ayan is two for two. It was zero for two was Ninotin only. Ninotin is a newly acquired city. That's right. And then Tabo is good. Zero C could use one more because I believe it hit ten population recently. And Janali's fine. All right. Well, this is no longer 140. So something happened. Maybe it's because these aren't locked in all the way. What's going on here? I know this can get higher. Oh, maybe it just doesn't need to. Maybe it's thinking intelligently. You know, let's unlock these. We don't really need to. Or just maybe reset production focus. Yeah, I think it, it's doing that because it's no, it knows we're producing the Punisher in one turn anyways. But at any rate, let's tell these guys to... It could probably be used connecting Nin at 10. So let's wake up some of our sleeper guys and tell them to start building these mag rails. We have a bunch of sleepers. There we go. And the last one. As for you, um, to do with you. You're probably fine. Let me just delete you. Yeah, I'll send you into friendly territory for now. She doesn't like Kavitha. Uh, we could theoretically dow her. Yeah, we'll get. We have ten turns to prepare. I mean, we're gonna probably have to war her anyways because she's getting probably very close to a mind flower. So that's that's kind of an inevitability. Yeah. In at ten, fifteen turns on martial law. And how is? Mrs. Uh, Dao Ming herself doing. We're truced, so I can see how much science she's making. Oh boy, engaging the aliens here. Discovered a new... What? That's not a thing. Alright, looks like uh, the Franco-Iberians have evolved battle suits now, which is nice. <laughs> And it also means they are closing in on the points they need for the uh, the gate that they need to build. Kavitha is now at 14 harmony. That is not looking good. Um, we want to spread these. Nah, I like where it is. This guy, when he's fully healed, we'll just move him up to the front line. So pull this guy back for him to accommodate his location. And then let's move these guys up. Transportation is kind of a pain. I'm glad we got our free city, though. And the Soma Distillery done in Tabo means that it should now be very close to net positive. Yep, definitely net positive total. And what to swap over to now? I'm thinking probably just a research focus. Um, if we can swap out and just do that. That's 51. 52. Uh, so that's probably better. Yep. And then we want to maybe start trying to do the same thing elsewhere too. Uh, we need we need those levels soon. Um, the other thing is we want TACnet hubs up. So if we could do that, that'd be nice. No, no one turn TACnet hub there. Maybe we have our first Punisher out here. Definitely send this guy up. And let's get one more Punisher, and then maybe try for a third. Honestly, I don't really think it matters because we do have these range units and all the all these units start to become way more viable when they hit affinity 11 So that's one thing we have to keep our mind on um, Okay, you built that guy Sleepers just build me my mag rails. I demand them Ninotin has been there for eons Awake other sleepers Trade convoy out of Bongani. Where to send it? Do we have one to Janali already? Looks like we do. Let's just feed Magan. And then this guy. Alright. Send him there. Build a mag rail. And send this guy out in that direction. And he'll probably be able to build something next turn. Probably get our battle suit all the way up there. Not a bad locale. A lot of micromanaging right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and delete this worker. We have a lot of workers in this front. I don't really need him. And then this here, Ranger, we can have him heal up. I really want our Sentinels to finally be max level. So they start to heal every single turn and they have enough combat strength to really compete. 24 combat strength is not enough. You talk about like, I think 
it's 48 they come to finally. Now that's that's something. Healing every turn, 48 combat strength. That can compete. Alright, so Kavitha's is just insulting us. Like she always does. And hopefully we can get more punishers out. I really need them. One more virtue. Alright, what to grab now? If we grab Monomyth, we get like culture faster. When... Alright, so here's what we might want to do. Is this synergy bonus is about to be done. Um, and it would give us a free virtue and one covert op. So that's just more health and more everything. Um, so, if we go ahead and grab alternative markets, uh, that will open up a free virtue. Let's definitely do that. One thing we might want to aim for is maybe the more energy and more production of the capital, or is there something else we could aim for? It seems like, like it's about it. We could go ahead and grab frugality, or maybe... Nothing here really matters. I mean, public security could be kind of useful. Prosperity's opener is very good, though, so we'll go ahead and grab that. Or actually, you know what? Uh, scalable infrastructure we need eventually anyways, so let's go ahead and grab it now for safety's intent, just so we have that extra production. And Magan, Soma Distillery done. Biofactory away. Get to this Punisher way up there. We wanted to bring him. Ooh, they acquired the tile. Interesting strategy. PAC, interesting strategy. Throwing Tiangong's borders out. It won't last you a lifetime, but you can try. Try our best to get these guys ready to strike into Kuyan. Into the heart, to the dark heart of Kuyan. Meanwhile, I'll have our guys kind of just on standby here. I like where they are right now. The Magrails can pop around when we want to Dao her again. That would be nice. And what are you doing here? This worker right. This is a, this was a sleeper. Um, let's send this one up here. Have them Magrail that way, and this one can replace their location. All right, there we go. Looking good. Orbital Network's coming soon, and we just kind of need to buy a Petroleum out from someone. Shouldn't be too hard. And we can probably launch that guy over whatever cities we don't already have. Hollow Matrix is over, or maybe we want to probably swap the Hollow Matrices out for something else. At this point, I don't think we need the massive culture. Probably put the Float Stone elsewhere. Seraphim, Cherubim, Divas... Ravashi and Yakshas, extend thy arms to cover us. And that is 15% science, so maybe we, what we want to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and grab the 10% health. I don't think we need the culture anymore. Uh, we can probably deorbit the hollow matrices and instead start building ourselves a bunch of laser comm sats. Uh, the extra 15% science will help. We need to launch them anyways. And yeah, we really need a science focus right now. Something I realized. Alright, so... We're gonna need two of these. Human Conservation and the Tactical LEV to get there anyways. So what do we want to grab first? Um, you know, we could theoretically maybe build LEV Destroyers. I've never really found a use for them. They're by far the worst Affinity 12 unit in the game. But let's go ahead and grab that guy. And meanwhile, we will try to swap out to... Let's, we have to deorbit our first, uh, what do you call them, hollow matrix, in order to do this. So you, uh, you're going down in a couple turns anyways, we'll just delete you. There we go, more floats than available, and just like that, we can build our first laser comp. We probably want to start deorbiting de the rest of these as well. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to get more virtues, but... Eh. It's okay. We, we got the culture when we needed it, we doubled it when we needed it, and now I think culture's a little obsolete. We need our laser comms though. Science is important right now, so we need one more titanium actually. So we need to find a titanium vendor. Hi, you, Elodie. Do you have any titanium? Bonjour, oh, you do. Oh, you do. Swing. Le commerce. Thank you, Elodie. Thank you very much. Laser comm here. 
get our Punisher up north. And can we do a laser comm in Tabo as well? I we can. More laser comms, the better. One more trade convoy done in Bongani. Not really sure why we did that, but we did. And what do we want to do? Uh, hmm. I'm thinking maybe just build. We could build a laser comm, but then we're actually out of petroleum, so. Oh, that's right, we have to de deal a bit more of these guys to get our petroleum back. While we do this, we're actually going to get a lot of floatstone back. It's important to swap out your satellites sometimes, though. This is one such time. Alright, so this guy, where to send you? To Janali for more production there. Bongani. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab that. These guys are good. They are fronting a lot of battlesuits on this, on this front, but I'm not really worried. Um, yeah. We have superior units. Just get these guys positioned there. Get our ranged units up. That's all good. That's all good. No need to worry. <laughs> We're alright. We're alright. You know, one thing we could do is acquire Fraxite and try to grab that, uh. That wonder. General Vadim has declared war on Kavitha. You know, war against Kavitha is kind of an inevitability. Really. Uh, we might want to try to build a little arsenal of uh, Dragoons, and a Dragoon Argamy would be very useful to try to get around and get to the Kavithan border fast. But our laser comms are up, so start launching them. I believe it doesn't matter where you launch it, and I just go, like, anywhere. It gives us the extra science right away. Victory is updated. And we could probably... We don't have the nanopasture here, so let's just grab that. Um, or are there any other priorities that we want? You know, left tanks could be really nice. What what do they upgrade at? I really don't know. Do we have left tanks available to us? 16 or 14 with 6? Six? 16 is not likely to happen. Um, but you know, it's a really cool unit, and if we have them out, we probably won't lose them. Says Lark, who has lost a lot of units, but hmm, time of the Punisher's upgrade. It's another very important question. Where is this guy? Uh, it's one of these, I swear. Missile rover. There we go. Fourteen. All right, so that's actually coming relatively soon if we go ahead and try something. So well, looks like the network has been built somewhere. Where was it built? Didn't PAC build that? They did. I don't know where it is, but they have it somewhere. Uh, in that case, Janali, what you can do for me is go ahead and build me a nano pasture. Those guys are dope. Bongani. You have a laser comm sat now. Um, probably have you build another one. We, we still have to deorbit some of these hollow matrices. So let's go ahead and do that. And build us more of the laser comms. Unfortunately, we can't build them until we launch this one. So let's go ahead and launch him over a yawn. And build another laser comm. Alright, looks good. Punisher up north. Our army is quite large. I like it. Makes me happy. <laughs> it's a great army. PC will never be our allies, of course. Whenever they sue for peace, it's just temporary reforming our units and moving them around a little bit. 27 health. Really giving us good bonuses. 20 production in cities. Wow. Okay, laser comm sat done now. Uh, I'm thinking probably research focus. And, yeah, alright, launch this laser comm. We definitely need one over Janali, so we need to deorbit this holomatrix. Let's 
go ahead and launch this guy, and then the episode will be over, though, guys. Come here. Boom. Thank you guys for watching so much. If you guys have enjoyed this uh, Let's Play so far, make sure to subscribe. We got content coming out every single day. And until next time, guys, take care.